Hey loves, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be decluttering my skincare. This is so long overdue. I think the last time I did this was honestly a couple years ago. I'm not even kidding. I've accumulated so much stuff. So I'm ready to part ways and get rid of things that I don't use that are expired. So we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites, products that I'm keeping but maybe wouldn't repurchase, things I would repurchase everything so grab a snack get cozy and let's do some skincare decluttering okay so i know this is a lot but this is what we're working with all the organizers are from amazon i will link them for you guys they're great for skincare because you can see everything but i know this is an excess amount nobody needs as much skincare but you guys already know this is what i do so it comes with the territory but let's get into it so let's start up top starting off with the bondi sand self tanning foam this is the one hour express i actually really love bondi sand self tanner i honestly just don't prioritize self tanning that much but i do really like this because it doesn't make my skin orange and i honestly like it better than loving tan so if you want something that is a true bronze brown color you're gonna love bondi sands i really like this i'm gonna keep next up i have the eva nyc h2o hydrating three-in-one scalp serum i actually really like this i use this mostly in the winter when my scalp was a little bit more on the dry side because it does lock in the moisture and it doesn't add any residue to the hair it just gives it that nice boost of hydration so this i really like especially if you want to have your hair in a little slick back bun while you're working out or something if you want to add some extra hydrating serum this is a really good one and i love the way it smells it's very fresh and clean i also have the clean rinse clarifying scalp serum from sunday riley this apparently has glycolic acid salicylic acid vitamin and jasmine I honestly need to try this and I love Sunday Riley so this I'm gonna keep I love their skincare and whenever I want to get my skin super smooth I love the daily microfoliant from Dermalogica this is activated by water and it's gentle enough where you could use it every day if you wanted to but I pretty much use it as needed and it's such a good product and I feel like a little bit of this goes a long way so you don't even need the big size you can get the mini size and make it last a while it's so good then I have the Shea Moisture daily hydration body oil I'm not a huge fan of the way this smells it's a little bit too just potent for my liking it kind of also has this plasticky undertone it's just not very pleasant so this i'm gonna get rid of i have other body oils that i prefer and this one is just not it this is the itk spf 50 i honestly have not used this this is brand new in the packaging but i have a ton of sunscreens that i love this brand is available at walmart they have a ton of skincare but this i'm gonna donate just because I haven't used it and I probably won't and I have a ton of SPFs. I've tried a few things from the brand. It's okay, not really one of my favorites, but I have so many SPFs that I know I don't really need this, so I'm gonna just donate. I have a few empties in here as well, and this is one of them, the Bulgarian Rose Water. This is one of my Holy Girl skincare products. I get this on Amazon, and it's seriously such a good, pure rose water. I love to use this with my Dalva Spray Serum, and I use this every morning and evening, love it. I have the Bondi Sand Self Tan Eraser. It's an instant self tan removal. Honestly, I have never used this before. It sounds really intriguing. I really need to make more of an effort to self tan because it looks so pretty. And I always feel better when I'm tan, but I need to try this. So this I'm gonna keep. And then I have this Versed Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist. I personally have another body mist that I prefer that I think works faster and it's just more effective overall for me personally. I also don't love the smell of this. It's a little too potent for my liking. So I'm gonna just get rid of it and I'll show you guys the other one that I prefer that is amazing if you do break out on your body at all. This is what I'm talking about, the Notorium Salicylic Acid Body Spray. If you get any type of body acne, you're gonna love this and it works so quickly. There was a point where I was breaking out in my arms and this helped so much. Definitely a forever repurchase. So this is the Mighty Patch. It's an extra large patch for bigger breakouts. I still prefer the pimple patches. I don't know, something about them, they're just the best. So I wouldn't repurchase these. They're not bad, but they're not my favorite, but I will keep them and use them up. I just wouldn't repurchase. Also didn't really love the Mighty Patch nose patches. They're just not the most comfortable and also didn't really see a whole lot with these. So I would not repurchase, but I'll keep. Elf skincare can be hit or miss. These pimple patches were not my favorite. I also would not purchase these again. My favorite ones are the ones from Hero. Personally, the invisible ones are great, especially if you have cold sores or anything, they are the best. And I love to keep these spray bottles on hand. They're great for hair products or skincare as well. Moving into the next row. 
e.l.f. vitamin c serum i actually do really like this this is actually a really good gentle vitamin c serum kristen blow dry mist i love this this is a really lightweight mist that you can use to cut your drying time if you're blow drying your hair i also love it because it smells like a salon quality hair product and i actually forgot that i had this to be honest i need to put it in my beauty room that's where i have the rest of my hair products but this is an amazing mist well people plant elixir facial oil this is great for shaving or just if you want to add it with a little bit of your moisturizer to give yourself an extra boost of hydration for me personally i don't really use facial oils as much i pretty much just use them to shave my face but they are really nice and they could be multi-use. I have this micellar cleansing treatment. I have another one of these, so I'm actually gonna just donate this one because I don't need it. I like micellar water. I think it's good for eye makeup, but I prefer a cleansing balm or cleansing oil because I feel like it's just faster, but I do like a good micellar water and this one is nice and gentle. If you like the smell of roses, you're gonna love this Pacifica Vegan Collagen Body Oil. It smells really good. I like to incorporate this in my body routine whenever I need some extra moisture and my skin is really dry but I think it smells really good and it pairs well with different more floral moisturizers so this I'm gonna keep I love the hydrogel cream from honest beauty but this cleanser made my skin so itchy and irritated I only used it once and I was not a fan I also don't like the way that it smells it just didn't feel pleasant on my skin so this I'm gonna get rid of then I have the burst instant resurfacing mask this is a really nice hydrating glowy mask I've used it a couple times but honestly it didn't really do much besides just hydrate my skin and make it look really glowy it's nice but not my favorite burst product so i would not repurchase then i have the skin proud gentle hydrating cleansing balm i told you guys these are one of my favorite ways to remove my makeup and i'm always testing out new makeup removers because i do go through a lot of them and that looks so satisfying so this i'm gonna keep Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. This leaves your hair so soft and bouncy. It smells delicious, but the mister on this is not really good. This is the second time I purchased this and it always gets stuck. The product doesn't come out, but it's such a good product. So typically I will just apply this without the mister on it and kind of just pour it into my hand so that's the only con about it but it is a really good product you just will have to maybe change out the bottle or not use the mister on it but i still love it 8 out of 10 keeping I'm a really big fan of Sol de Janeiro 62 and the nourishing hair oil is really nice as well. I like it because it doesn't weigh my hair down and I am very picky when it comes to hair oils because some of them do make my hair overly greasy but this adds the perfect amount of shine and I feel like the smell will linger on as well so I love this. This is the Versed Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator, I believe. Yeah, this is for dullness and problem skin. I'm gonna go ahead and donate, this is brand new. I wanted to tell you guys about this Babe Lash Serum. I've seen so many people talking about it. I was influenced, I purchased it. You can't return it, by the way. So if you have sensitive eyes, be careful. But this irritated my eyes so bad. I feel like me and lash serums, we just don't go together because every time I try new lash serums, they make my eyes burn red itchy it's the worst so this i'm gonna just throw it out because it made my eyes very irritated there's only one lash serum that i can use that doesn't irritate my eyes it's from the ordinary but this one it was just so bad it was worse for me than grande lash so i'm getting rid of it and this is a splurge worthy skincare product youth to the people hydrate and glow dream mask if you have super dry skin and you just want to really moisturize your skin make it really glowy and pretty this is such a good mask. I like to use this whenever I wanna like treat myself with a little pamper moment and it is incredible. It's a little bit thicker, but it just makes your skin feel so supple and soft. I love it. All right, let's restock this again. I always end up with a bunch of hair products in the bathroom, but these really do belong in the beauty room. But these are both from Eva NYC. I love the H2O Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner because it's so refreshing and it's a good detangler. You can also use this on damp or dry hair after styling to add a little extra shine, but I specifically really like to do that with the Main Magic 10 in 1. It smells so good and it makes your hair look so healthy. I am obsessed with this. It's a good heat protector too, reduces frizz, and it also does cut drying time too. So both of these are fabulous. And I love the split end mender to make the hair nice and smooth. This is such a good product. I need to start using this again. It's the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I've heard really good things about this. There was a point where I was pretty consistent with oiling my hair, especially whenever I would slick it back. And I do actually really like this one. So this I'm gonna keep and I would repurchase. 
I love Pacifica, but some of their products can make me break out. But the Glowy Vitamin C line is my mom's favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her, but the Vegan Collagen line from Pacifica is my favorite. Specifically this right here, the Everyday Lotion SPF 30 is beautiful, looks great under makeup, doesn't pill. And it makes your skin look so glowy without that greasy feeling. I love this for every day. This is the Lash Purify Eye Makeup Remover from Kiss. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because I really don't use it. I thought I was going to, and then I just ended up kind of storing it away so this is getting donated this is the itk clay color changing mask i used this twice i thought it was okay I didn't really notice a huge difference with my skin so i'm gonna get rid of this then i have this pure haitian black castor oil i kind of just like to have extra castor oil on hand because it could come in handy but i need to start using this for my hair as well just to promote hair growth because it does say on here it promotes thicker longer hair to hydrate and smooth skin so note to self use this up in combination with the rosemary oil, I feel like this would be like a really good combo. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go ahead and also donate the e.l.f. Holy Hydration SPF 30 Cream. This is really good and hydrating. Like I said, e.l.f. has some good skincare. Some of it is a little bit better than others, but this is a good moisturizer for every day. Also nice under makeup. I'm gonna donate it though because I already have it and I don't need it. This is the Rose Hip Dry Body Oil from Frank Body. I really like this because it's a lightweight body oil that doesn't actually feel greasy or like you're putting on a sticky oil on your body. Like it's very fast absorbing and lightweight and it smells just like roses. I really like this, so I'm gonna keep. And this is a good brand too. More Youth to the People masks. I really like these, so I'm gonna keep. If you ever wanna splurge on skincare at Sephora, I think this is a really nice brand. I mean, of course, everybody's skin is different, but I discovered them a few years back and they're still in rotation. I love it. So I'm gonna keep both of these. The Super Clay is a repurchase. This is really good if you just wanna kinda detox your skin a little bit. Didn't really love how this felt on the body. It's the Wake Up Beautiful Retinoid Body Serum from Pacifica, so this I'm gonna get rid of. It just felt kind of sticky and it wasn't really fast absorbing i just i like to hydrate my skin but i don't like the feeling of my products kind of sticking everywhere so this is a no-go for me i have some skincare here from keys that i'm gonna go ahead and donate the replenishing facial oil is one of my favorites i already have one that is open and i really like it again for shaving and then this harmony mask the scent is just a little bit too strong for my liking i tried this before and i'm just it's not my favorite so these i'm gonna donate and I thought I was gonna use this 5% niacinamide body serum from Paula's Choice a little bit more, but eh, it was okay. I have other body products that I prefer, so this I'm gonna get rid of. And the last section is a more miscellaneous skincare and body care products, starting off with the Rock Contour Cream. I really like this brand for skincare. I feel like this stuff actually does work. I love the way my chest and decolletage neck area looks whenever I use this. I've been using it every evening. I have another one already. It's really good. I like it and it doesn't irritate my neck because I feel like the skin on my neck is very sensitive, but this one is really good. I love it. Another favorite product is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Moisturizer. This is great under makeup if you have combo or oily skin because it hydrates without that really heavy oily feeling. So that's why I think it's perfect under makeup and it's also very fast absorbing. So this is a backup. I currently, I'm actually about to run out of mine because I use it a ton. And I think now for summer too, it's a good lightweight moisturizer. Cannot get enough of the Tropic Glow Whipped Shea Body Butter. These are great because they're hydrating, but not greasy. Again, I'm really big on products that feel good, but that don't feel like too much on the skin. And this smells so good. I go through these in bulk. They are my favorite at the drugstore. I actually do like the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs, but it can look a little orangey, you know? It does give a really pretty glow. But I feel like for me, I already have to have a tan for this to look as natural as possible. Because if I just go in on my bare skin with no tan, it looks a little orangey. But I do like it and it does make your skin look really smooth. So it's good for pictures. I got this PR package a while ago and this contained some skincare. I believe this is Korean skincare. Yeah, this is the brand. And this is a white rice wash off mask. I always hear amazing things about Korean skincare. I need to use this mask because I'm sure it is amazing. So this I'm gonna keep. I also really like the packaging. This is the Satin Dream Smoothing Leave-In Cream from Eva NYC. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because I have the other hair products, so I'm pretty stocked up. We have another empty. This is the Tula Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I already have another one currently in the shower. This is an amazing product. I feel like this has been helping with keeping my skin clear. I mean, I still have breakouts and everything 
everything, but this just makes my skin feel so squeaky clean. I've been using it every evening and I love it. It's my favorite Tula skincare product. I'm gonna donate the Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Moisturizer because I have some other moisturizers in my collection currently. Another product I forgot that I had, it's the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I need to try this because I've only tried the spray, but maybe the lotion will be a little bit more natural. So let me know if you tried this and would you prefer this or the spray. This is a foot peeling spray from the brand Earth Therapeutics. I got this at Walmart and this is actually really good if you just want a quick exfoliation. If your heels are gonna be exposed and you just need something quick, I think this is a really good product and it works instantly, so I love this. Then I have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. You can do a lot of different things with this. For me personally, I tried it on my scalp. I also tried it on my underarms. I didn't really personally get the benefits from this. Uh, I don't know, I don't think I would repurchase. I feel like it works for some people, maybe not everyone, but for me, I didn't really get the hype with this personally. Let me know if you guys like this, but I think I'll finish it up, I just would repurchase. And Hawaiian Tropic makes my favorite sunscreen. I truly believe that this is weightless and especially the spray, it goes on completely clear, but gives you that SPF 50, which I love. The sunscreen lotion is also great and I love the way these smell. So these are forever repurchases as well. And my favorite body sunscreen. Okay, moving into this section over here, I have quite a few products that I know for sure I'm getting rid of and that I would not repurchase, starting off with this right here. This is the Hero Pore Release Blackhead Clearing Solution. I really just didn't see much of a difference, so it's one of those products where I'll continue using it up, but I wouldn't repurchase. This is the Pixie Clarity Mist. I honestly really love Pixie Mist, but I already have like two or three other ones in my beauty room from this brand, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because I don't need it. And I have other skincare mists that I actually prefer over this one. Notoria makes some amazing skincare, but this BHA liquid exfoliant 2%, which is also not something that I saw a huge difference in. I prefer the one from Paula's Choice. So again, I'll keep using it, but I would not purchase this again. Elf Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. This is amazing if you just want a good everyday makeup remover. Sometimes you gotta do a little extra if you're removing waterproof mascara and such, but it's a good makeup remover and it's nice and gentle. I love the first retinol body lotion. This is so lightweight. I love that it's fragrance free and it does a really nice job at making my skin look so healthy on my body. I love this. I found the Super Goop Play SPF 30 at TJ Maxx once upon a time and I don't like the way this makes my body look and it takes forever to absorb and look seamless on the skin. It gives a major white cast so I don't like this. And I'm actually just going to get rid of it because it's probably expired and it has a really strong smell. This is the bubble deep dive exfoliating mask i honestly only use this like once so i can't really say if it worked or not i'll have to keep using it this is the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner my skin loves niacinamide and this one does do a nice job at giving your skin that bright clear look another great burst product is the dew point moisturizing gel cream this is another i honestly now that i think about it i feel like this could be a pretty good dupe it's not identical but a pretty decent dupe to the it cosmetics confidence in a gel cream both of these are so fast absorbing and they work Work great under makeup so actually not the same ingredients or anything of course but I do think that this gives like a similar effect to the one from it cosmetics so this could be a nice alternative if you want a good gel moisturizer this is the Tula clarifying tonic alcohol free toner I have another toner that I'm using currently from tier tier that I love so much more so this I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of definitely getting rid of the glow recipe SPF 50 it wasn't bad but it wasn't great and I think for the price there's definitely way better sunscreens so I'm gonna get rid of this because it's definitely expired another good moisturizer under makeup L poly hydration face cream and this one is fragrance free it's also good for the nighttime as well it's just nice and creamy perfect for day to day I used this one time it's the daily cleanser from elf i feel like this didn't make my skin feel as clean as i prefer i honestly like elf moisturizers and makeup removers the best i have other cleansers that i prefer so this i'm gonna get rid of and this is another good makeup remover from elf that i like especially for eye makeup it removes things so quickly and it's nice and gentle also no fragrance it doesn't burn or sting my eyes i really like this and i would repurchase I really thought I was gonna use this Glow Baby liquid exfoliator. I don't know if even this is still good. Do you see those particles floating around in there? I think this is expired. My favorite under eye patches at Sephora are from Rare Beauty. They're hydrating, they're depuffing, and they actually stay in place on your under eyes. 10 out of 10. I have an extra deep conditioner here from Eva NYC. This is another one of my holy girl products, the Therapy Session Hair Mask. 
this stuff will last you forever. So I'm gonna donate this because I don't need it, but it's such a good deep conditioner. Good Molecules has some good skincare, but these hydrogel patches are not it. They ball up under my skin. They're not good under makeup and your concealer and everything is just gonna start to pill over top of these. So I would not repurchase these. These are the Pixi Dreamy Eye Replenishing Patches. I also think these are okay. Not really staples for me in my collection. They kind of slide off. They do feel nice and cooling, but you have to keep pressing them on your under eyes so they can stay put. So I wouldn't repurchase these. I love these Green Tangerine toner pads from Godal. Whenever I just want a quick cleanse and I don't feel like rinsing my face, I will apply these like specifically after I work out or something. I love the green tangerine line from Godal. It's amazing. One of Elf's best skincare products is the Holy Hydration Lip Mask. The way that this feels almost identical to the high-end version, such a good dupe. So I'm going to donate this one because I already have it, but 10 out of 10. This is an amazing product. This is a product that I thought I was going to like more. It had really good reviews, but not something that I would, again, repurchase. It's the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. I expected this to be a little bit more rich and hydrating. It's okay, but the hydration level is not where it needs to be for the price, so hard pass on this. Also did not really love this ITK Day and Night Eye Cream Duo. It just didn't really give me that hydration that I was looking for. I love the concept of it, how you get a day and night version, but I just didn't really get much from this. Then I have the e.l.f. Retinoid Serum. I honestly used this up, but I didn't really see a huge difference. This might be something that I would have to keep using again. I mean, it didn't irritate my skin. It didn't feel too harsh, so I would repurchase it and try it again because I do feel like it's a more gentle product, which I love. And then this is the Wrinkle Warrior Eye Gel from Kate Somerville. I got this at TJ Maxx a little while back. I used it up. I have a little bit left. And again, it's an okay product. But I think if you were to pay for this full price, I don't think it's worth it. And I think there's better, more expensive eye creams and even more affordable ones, honestly. Another great lip mask dupe is the Milani Supercharged Citrus Lip Mask. When I tell you this feels so luxe, I love this before bed or even before makeup and your lips feel so supple and soft. Also almost forgot to mention the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is another nice product, but I can't say that it's a must have for me. This is the Bioma Deep Puff and Brightening Eye Gel. I would not repurchase this. I feel like it's one of those products that absorbs into my skin, but doesn't really do anything. I think I'm gonna just get rid of it, honestly, because I need something hydrating for my under eyes and this is just not it. I rotate out my skin serums throughout the week and I love niacinamide. Paula's Choice makes a really good one too which I feel like is very effective but still gentle on the skin. I love this one. I'm actually almost out and I would repurchase. This is the retinol that I'm currently using and I love it. Again it's from Rock and this is definitely going to be in my repurchase list. I really like this a lot and I'm also currently using the retinol line smoothing eye cream in the evenings and I'm loving it as well. I tried Rode Skincare and I'm honestly not super impressed. The Barrier Restore cream made my skin itch and then the peptide glazing fluid is just okay. This is one of my favorite SPFs that I'm currently using from It Cosmetics. It really is invisible and I love it under makeup. This is the only lash serum which is the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum that does not irritate my eyes. I can be very generous with this on my lashes and brows and I have no issues with it and it, surprisingly it's the most affordable lash serum but it does run out really quick I will say and I feel like you have to you go through a couple of these to kind of get those real results but I do think this actually does work it's just not something that's very rapid but I have repurchased this I will continue to repurchase it because again it's the only serum that doesn't irritate my eye so that is a win for me this is the instant plumping eye mask from Hourglass which I am going to get rid of because it really didn't do much for me I think I like Hourglass makeup over their skincare and then in this little section here this tray by the way I got from TJ Maxx I love it you can put makeup or skincare and it just makes everything look a little bit better displayed on here. So I'm not going to go through every little thing here, but I'm going to go through some of my favorites and things that I'm also, again, would not repurchase. Starting off with the Intensive Hydrating Eye Balm from Hourglass. It's nice, but it's not something that I would repurchase, especially for the price. No. I do like the Cosrx Snail Peptide Eye Cream. I think it's just a good lightweight 
eye cream but honestly that's just about it it's not really special or something that really is like holy grail status for me i still love my honest beauty common renew melting eye balm so i would go with this over the one from hourglass personally that one is just it feels oily on my under eyes but this one is perfection i'm also going to get rid of the future youth cleansing gel i have found my cleansers that truly work for my skin and i thought i was going to use it but i just decided not to so i'm going to just get rid of this this is another product from Honest Beauty that I didn't really love, the Vitamin C Radiance Serum. I have other serums that I think just work better and actually give me a brighter, more clear complexion, and this just didn't do it for me. I've gone through so many bottles of this Dalba First Spray Serum. It's seriously the best, worth every penny, worth all the hype. This is another thing that I cannot live without when it comes to my skincare routine. Morning and night, every day, it's a must. And I have this other Pixie Dreamy Mist. This one is Jasmine and Lavender. It's really strong though. Like I can still smell it when I spray this in the evening when I'm laying in bed. So it's just a little too much for me. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And this is one of my all time favorite products, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. Whenever I want a good exfoliation, this just does it for me. If I'm breaking out or my skin just looks congested, this always comes through. I use it one to two times a week and it's holy grail for me. That's why I have the big bottle. So this is a good one. I also recently tried the glow stick SPF 50 from Supergoop and it's so greasy on my skin I don't like the way it feels it actually feels like I'm putting on grease so not my favorite and then this is the ordinary soothing and barrier support serum I honestly bought this because it went viral on TikTok it's pink it's fun but I don't like this under makeup with other skincare. It doesn't sit well. And this is just one of those overhyped products. I think The Ordinary has way better serums than this one. This Bioma Hydrating Milky Toner is also really nice. But I do love the one from Tear Tear more because it's more hydrating. But this is like really good though under other skincare products too. If you want something hydrating versus a traditional toner. I like the way this feels on my skin. And I'm interested actually in trying out more skincare from the brand. I didn't like the eye cream, but this is good and here's another dalba first spray serum if you like this spray you're gonna love the double layer revitalizing serum it's pretty much like the spray but in serum form honestly all of dalba skincare is definitely worth trying and this is another liquid exfoliant that i swear by something else that i do keep in my weekly rotation polish choice i have backups of this because this is one of those products where i genuinely notice a difference in the way my skin looks and feels and then this is the first advanced retinol body butter i have the body lotion so i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this because i don't need it and this is the other product that i have from road the glazing milk which i don't really love i really just don't like the smell of it and it's not as hydrating as what i was expecting so out of all my milky toners, this is the order that I prefer and the order of most hydrating to least. So Tear Tear and Bioma take the win. For me, the road is just a no-go. I would not repurchase. And this is what everything looks like. I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. It looks much less cluttered. It's still a lot of stuff, I know, but I'm excited to now finally be able to use up a lot of these because most of these things I wouldn't repurchase, but a lot of these I do love. Like this tray consists of a lot of my favorite products. And then this is everything that I decided to part ways with. So very successful declutter. So hopefully this inspired you guys to go through your bathrooms and declutter, do the body care, do the skincare, do all the things. So thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.